Hey everybody, I'm Peanut Butter Gamer, and welcome to this video! Some of you may remember a video I did during the last Zelda month about hacking the Wind Waker, and I thought maybe it's about time I did another video about hacking a video game, except this time I'll be doing Super Mario 64 for the N64. Let's do it. Let's start off with some relatively simple hacks like a Fast Mario hack. Fast Mario makes Mario, you guessed it, go fast. Which I can assure you is not always a helpful thing. If Fast Mario is a bit too much for you, why not try Slow Mo Mario? It even rhymes! Whoa, man. This is like... This is like... Really boring, actually. How about this hack called simply Lakitu's Day Off? Which does... Yeah. See you later, Mario! Hey look, I'm in a cannon! Okay, now I'm not... It doesn't really look like I'm gonna be going anywhere with this one. There's always the trusty jump really high hacks. Now you can get to the top of a level lickety split. <laughs> Still think I suck now, Timothy from high school? You know who you are, Timothy. But don't forget, no matter how far you fall, all you gotta do is ground pound at the last second and you'll be fine. Or you can use a hack that lets you walk on water, sinking sand, and other hazardous landscapes, which I gotta say makes lethal lava land much easier. Here's a hack that just turns the whole screen white. That's not what it was supposed to do, but that's what it did. It's science. Now I've heard about these speed run things, and if you think that's impressive, you should try a slow run. I made it up myself. It's the same basic principle, except instead of beating the game as quickly as possible, you have to beat it as slowly as possible. And just in case you were thinking about cheating, if you accidentally run too fast, Mario will spontaneously combust. Yes, it is a hack where Mario explodes if he runs too fast. Even the Mario on the start screen menu isn't immune to the rules. Oh, and sometimes you blow up just because. How about a hack that makes Mario blow up if he touches anything? He blows up if you touch enemies? Trees? Bridges? Coins? And sometimes even the air. But I guess none of that really matters because he can't even get through the castle doors without blowing up. Silly Mario, living is for kids. For even more challenge, try this hack that makes Mario slowly lose his health over time. Better grab those coins or you know what's gonna happen. Everybody who played Mario 64 when it first came out remembers the start menu where you can mess with Mario's face. It was really funny at the time, and it still is, but if you corrupt the game enough, you can make stuff like this happen. Everything about this is creepy, but I think the weirdest thing has gotta be his eyes. They're just kinda hovering around there. Or how about this? The lack of eyes is definitely the focal point here, but something about that in combination with this creepy smile just really gets me. Here's another hack that didn't do what it was supposed to do. I don't even remember what the hack was called, but all it did for me was give Mario the wing cap, but not the ability to fly. The most amusing part about this is that the wing cap song plays the entire time, no matter where you are. I I am Penance Butter Gamer, I am gonna get a star, I might even eat a candy bar. Wait, peanut butter? Campbell. Whether it's the original N64 version or the DS port, there's always been, usually fake, rumors about other characters that could be unlocked in the game. Then there was the one that was actually real, Yoshi on top of the castle, if you managed to get all the stars in the game. But I bet you never expected him to do this. Yes, you saw it right, Yoshi just killed me. But don't worry, you can get your sweet revenge with a hack that makes Yoshi spawn outside the castle near the bridge. Just pick him up and blast off. Wait for the explosion. There we go. You can also make Peach appear in the castle courtyard. You can even tell her what animations to do. If you don't, she just kind of walks off into the ground. Bye bye, Princess Preaches. How about some playable characters? Remember the fake rumor about unlocking Waluigi? Well, now you can finally make it happen with this mod by YouTuber Russ Mars 2. I was actually impressed by just how good it was, but whatever you do, don't pick up the metal cap because that doesn't work. Well, I guess it kinda almost works. You just gotta click a lot. People are constantly asking me to talk about a Sonic game. Well, here you go. 
Look guys, it's really me, Sonic the Hedgehog. You can tell it's me because blue, and also I do this. You can also play as other NPC characters in the game, like the Baby Penguin in Cool Cool Mountain, the Blarg in Lethal Lava Land, the Irock Boss in Shifting Sandland, a Clam in Jolly Roger Bay, and my personal favorite, that stupid giant Unagi Eel. Now it's finally my turn to be all scary and ominous. Except it's somehow a lot less intimidating when I do it. Also, the eel can drown. So, that doesn't make much sense. You can also play as Princess Daisy. Just look at me. I'm so beautiful. And I only occasionally walk backwards. And now I just can't move at all. That's fun, but if you turn the hack off while still playing as Daisy, it gets even better. The game doesn't really know what to do with it, and the result is this. Just look at how graceful she is out there. She's obviously trained rigorously to make sure every move is as precise as possible. She's now preparing for the elongated running faceplant jump, and she nails it perfectly! I especially like how butterflies come out of her butt sometimes. So those are some pretty cool hacks, but we've yet to delve into my absolute favorite category. Yes, it is time to do some terrible things to Mario. I'll go easy on him to start off. How about just making him a little depressed? Oh, come on, man. What's getting you down? Things will get better. Let's just talk it out. Oh. Never mind. Here's one that makes his fist alternate from way too big to way too small on an endless loop. Here's Mario with the big foot, which looks kind of dumb to be honest. Instead of big or small limbs, why not just replace Mario's limbs altogether? Now Mario can pick up stars with stars. Mind blown. This hack I found was called simply Mario is five balls with flashing trousers and he has no head. And I gotta say, it's a pretty accurate title, but it also breaks the game, so there's that. And here's one where an extra Mario is in the floor for some reason. I gotta say, some of these hacks are actually starting to get a bit creepy. I mean, this is some serious creepypasta material here, guys. In fact, I think I should make my own creepypasta. Yeah, I'd be famous. One dark and cloudy day, I bought a copy of Mario 64 from an old guy at Sears. I probably shouldn't have trusted him because as much as I liked his mustache, it struck me as very untrustworthy. And also, the game was previously owned by some kid who died or something. Nonetheless, I took the game home and started playing. Much to my confusion, it was not a copy of Mario 64 at all. It was a game with a little girl who runs up to me and speaks a lot of stuff in Japanese. And also, there is a bird that I'm pretty sure really wants me to stop playing the game. But then all of a sudden, it was Mario 64. But it was dark and very scary things were happening. See? And then when I thought it couldn't get any more the scarier, all of a sudden... If you think Goomba Head Mario is creepy, how about Mario with only a head? Okay, maybe the Goomba Head Mario is creepier, actually. This hack makes Mario do a butt slide instead of jumping, but the best part about it is that when he walks off ledges, instead of landing on his feet, he just falls to the ground. <laughs> And of course, we can't forget the hacks that make Mario completely screwed up, like this one that makes Mario do... Yeah... He can almost moonwalk if you do it just right. I also rather enjoy watching his wall climbing techniques. They are very unique, to say the least. If you want to get some seriously messed up Mario results, you may want to try actually corrupting the game. Doing so will either not work at all, or it will work... Miracles. Well, if your definition of a miracle is whatever is going on here, and mine is. The results I got made Mario glitch around the screen while jumping, have a broken, gimpy leg, occasionally disappear altogether, and just generally be messed up. My favorite part was Mario sliding down the pole. <laughs> you did it, Mario. You did it. But the best results I got actually weren't from corrupting the game at all. I just loaded Mario 64 save states while playing a different game. And this is just some of what happened.
It's Mario 64, everybody! Isn't it just how you remember it as a kid? Just listen to that music! Ah, man, that really sets off my nostalgia. And my nightmares. You know what? I think I'm gonna go for a slide now. Whee! And now I'm stuck in a fence. Forever. Hey everybody, thanks for watching my video. I hope you liked it. And if you want to see more videos in the future, then why not subscribe? If you want to try some of these hacks for yourself, then check the description below where I have some links that you can check out. If you want to watch the last hacking video I did on the Wind Waker, then click right here. And if you want even more updates and stupid stuff from me, then follow me on my Facebook and Twitter pages in the description below. And if you want even more Mario action, then click this annotation or the link below to go to my gameplay channel, PPG Gameplay, and watch my PPG Sucks at Super Mario 64 series. Bye-bye!